so, um, if you didn't already know, I was planning on taking a very long break from recording Minecraft episodes. Um, but then I, I, um, I asked the fellow Minecraft people, um, if I should start recording, and I have six yeses and zero noes. So, I think I'm gonna actually start back up again, but, um, the first thing I need to do today is show you guys everything that I did while I was gone from recording, and then we'll kick back up the episodes. So here we are, at home, and you may think that not much has changed, but if we go outside, look at this, and look at this. I did a lot of building work on this section here. Um, this is a, a path that leads into the super smelter room, and it connects down into the nether portal room. And I'm actually going to go in there. So you can see there's a path right here, leads into the super smelter. And there's also a path this way. Here's a room that I don't know what to do with yet. But if we keep going over here, this is my new diamond vault. And I have a specially written key that if I place in this barrel, it'll open the door. And it only will detect this key in particular. Nothing else will open it. And I am not going to show this key because otherwise uh, other crabs can figure out the password to it. But I'll just uh, put it in here. And you can see that it opened the door. And here are my diamonds. And there's a few more in this chest. But I think I'm the way I'm going to store my diamonds is I'm just going to... Um, convert them all into blocks and just have them all in this room and then when I need some I can just mine some out um and you may be wondering like how did I get this many diamonds um I actually have been having quite some success with my shops and uh, I can go show you the the shop that I made in episode 8 and as well as the new shop that I made so this is how you get the key for now. I might change it, but for now you have to go over here and take it from this chest. But there we go. Um, this, this place is looking very crowded. There's a lot of uh, shulker boxes all around here. Um, oh, as well as this, we actually um, we installed some data packs, which include mob heads. Um, so I got a whole bunch of these here. I got my own head killed by myself. I shot myself with a bow and got my own head. But I've got a lot of these heads and I'm thinking of starting a collection. I know Illinois Jones is making a museum of his heads, so I might do that as well. But, um, I think now we'll go check out the shopping area. Oh yeah! Um, also, the the treasure game that I did in episode 4, that's, uh, that's been cycling around a bit. Um, some people have found the treasure, and actually, um, I believe I was the last person to found, find it. I don't know if my new treasure that I hid got found yet, but, um, I actually, I des decided to increase the like value of stuff in the chest because back then we didn't have much now we have a lot more it only makes sense oh wait i just realized it's night uh i think there's a bed around here oh yeah another data pack we had um only one person needs to sleep now to set the time today which is nice oh creeper and uh creepers don't grief things anymore so yeah that that explosion didn't do anything um so here's my rocket store. This is uh, this is my main method of currency right now. Although my other shop is doing pretty well too. Um, so 
I decided to convert this before it uh, before it sold. It's not sold. It sold. I was planning on making it sell just gunpowder related items like TNT and gun and fireworks and stuff. Um, now I'm basing it more off of uh, like the ability to fly. So um, I'm actually selling elytra. I've got two in there, and then firework rockets. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of these in my base in case if they sell out. Next thing, I also built this over here, and this is like a community shop area, so every every member of Minecraft has their own shop, and I'm actually the only one who's used mine so far. I have uh, string and spider eyes in this one and ender pearls in this one. Um, but hopefully other people will start to use those. Oh, there's Charlie's shop. I think you've already seen this, but he opened this shop now. And um, a lot of plots, some plots have been bought. Oh yeah, also there's a new Minecraft member, um, Sebastian, aka Basadi. Um, so he, he joined like right after I finished with uh, episode 8 recording. So he actually hasn't been in a Minecraft episode yet. Um, so he'll probably be in one in the future. But here's my other shop. So this is the this is the Try Your Luck store. Um, and basically how this works is I have a little redstone contraption up. Um, so you have to pay with a diamond block. You put it in here, and then when you flip the lever. Um, here, I'll just, I'll just show you. Um, a random shulker box comes out and you get rewards. I, I actually got one of the bad ones. Uh, but there are nine possible rewards in there. Currently there's eight because someone, uh, bought one. But, um, there's a chance to win. Here, I'll send this back and put it back in. Um, this is, this is the, the DD, the DGC only area. Um, so if you see, this is where everything's dispensed out. This is the one that someone got. Um, so I'll just put this one back in. Um, this, this is the jackpot one, um, which is three diamond blocks or 27 diamonds, which is actually a very good amount. Um, so that'll definitely intrigue people. And we've also got some other pretty good rewards right now. Um, also, no one no one better uh, get intentions of just going in here and taking taking one out. Like that that's I, I may not be able to catch you, but that's not that's not cool. That's not how you play the game. Um, okay, so over here we have the limited time rewards. This is basically the non-jackpot rewards that people might be looking for. Um, so we've got the enchanted diamond shovel pack. Oh, actually this is the one that was just one. Ender chest and pearls pack. Um, we've got a horse setup, um, enchanted book and potions. And these other two are gone because they've been gotten already. I've actually already had to restock this store because... Um, there were like f five, um, there were like five diamond blocks in it when I checked it last, and the jackpot was also gone. I'm not sure who won that, or bought all the different ones, but good for them. I think that's all I have to show in this area. I have, let's see, wait, what? Oh, where where are the pillagers? Huh? I just got shot by a pillager and... Huh? That, that doesn't make any sense. Are they in here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let, I'll let the zombie kill the pillager. No, uh, that, that's not good. Um... Uh, you, you kind of, you kind of, uh, I don't, I don't want to deal with you right now. 
Okay, okay. Since I killed him with fire, I didn't get the effect. Oh yeah, if you saw my base earlier, I also got a beacon. Um, so I did a wither fight, got myself the nether star, and I made myself a beacon. And uh, Charlie's been uh, selling me iron um, to get myself a full beacon. And I'm currently almost there. I need a few more iron blocks. And yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you see here, we also uh, broke a hole in the nether. Um, me and Illinois Jones did this, um, and uh, I don't I don't really want to say this, but he was he was kind of bad at it, and I wasted like a uh, two stacks of gunpowder on TNT to break this hole because I was the I was the TNT supplier, and he did pay me two diamonds. But uh, this is the reason he wanted to get up here, because um, he built this, uh, he built this gold slash pigman farm, um, and this is a very very good XP source. Um, he's actually providing a membership uh, where for a diamond block you have permanent access to this farm, and you can use it anytime you want for XP. Um, the only rule is you can't take any of the gold out of these chests. Uh, but you can actually get the pigman heads, which is pretty nice. I actually, I have a lot of them. Um, so yeah, look, look at, look at how, look at how easy that is. So that, that's, that's a pretty good thing. Um, I don't think I'm going to show any other people's bases. I mean, they, they have made some progressions, but I am not going to show that because this is basically what I've been doing. Let's see. I don't. I don't even know what I have left. Oh wait, I do have one more thing, and the thing that I'm building is actually this way. So if we go over here, so basically what this is, um, is I'm gonna be here. It is. This is gonna be a sort of mini game ish thing, where you just oh, there's my face and some okay um but this is basically a mini game where you just you just ride your boat around a track and i'm thinking of making like a system where you just uh you sort of like enter in races uh where you compete against other people and basically yeah you you enter with diamonds and then if you win you get diamonds so this this will be a pretty cool why did I just pick up cobblestone? Oh well. That was probably when I built that sign and I accidentally left it. This is this is pretty fun. I'm, I can just ride around this. And I might also uh do like an advertising system where I build up billboards in this area and then um if other people pay me I can make a sign to advertise it. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot. Stuff can spawn on this. But yeah, I, I would make a campaign to advers advertise their store. Just a little sign. But I, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. And uh, I need to I need to get out of here because I'm being attacked. Wow. They love my course so much, they just can't get off of it. Well, I'm just going to leave them here. You know, I, I am the one who's providing uh, rockets right now, so I do need a lot of paper. And I, I have the gunpowder from this creeper farm. I've got all the gunpowder I would ever need. Oh, we've got a lot in here right now, actually. Um, but the sugar cane... I was like, should I make a sugarcane farm? And then I was just like, Let, let's go for this instead. So we've got this massive sugarcane plantation. Because, I mean, I was like, I, I've just built a creeper farm. I don't really feel like doing anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything else I need to show. Here's the rockets that I have stored up. Um... Yeah, so that will end the 
review of everything I did. Um, episodes will probably start back up pretty soon. Like I said, I'm going to be recording again from now on. So, um, there will be episodes uh, sometime. I don't even know when this is going to come out because uh, at the time of recording this, I'm still only at episode 6 of the upload process. Um, and this is going to be sometime after I do episode 8. So, um, just, yeah, subscribe. I don't want to break anything, so I'm just going to look this way. Subscribe to my channel to get caught up on all the Minecraft shenanigans. Um, and that's probably about it. Yeah, that's about it.